Good day everyone again. That's the uh, rendering I did of my charge drum building. I had my other video. And as I said, I'll put one coil working <coughs> when I get it. This is that coil. It's a, uh, what do you call it, a quinfilia. So there's five winding power quindings and a trigger, so there's six actually on there. And I'm very makeshift with the wires at the moment, so excuse that. I'm still testing and tuning it. Um, that's my cat. Just crack the shits, it was sleeping. Go away. Um, and this is my rotor. I'll just uh, stop that. There's a bit of talk on it. Okay. You may be able to see these glue marks here. As I said, I've got the uh, two north pushed together, sorry, two south pushed together because this coil's bound for south. There's a gap in there. Um, if any of you have watched the latest energy from the vacuum video, you would have seen John Bedini saying how the uh, this configuration is not very good for power generation and it's hard to get a trigger on his right. I've really had to uh, move the magnet really close and I've got to push quite hard so it went, it went there, which is good. But to get into resonance, well, there it goes. It draws about 800 milliamps at the moment, that one coil. Um, which is about right compared to the last charger I built. About 200 per winding. Maybe a bit less. Um, but that outputs, not that it matters, but it outputs 400 milliamps. So I'm running on 24 volts on the wall socket at the moment, just while I'm doing testing and stuff. Um, it's funny because it'll it always draws 800 milliamps to run the machine, or that coil. But if because it's on 24 volts, if I have another 24 volt battery on the back end, it'll output 200 milliamps. But if I switch the output to a 12 volt, so half the input, the uh, the output amperage goes up to 400 milliamps. So there's a bit of a ratio there. This is the control box. I'll uh, gently lift it up. You can start to see all the circuitry inside. I've got that shut at the moment. <coughs> Five transistors in there. I've got these two batteries hooked up. Just charging in parallel. Um, the black top one is conditioned. This one not so much. But I'm just mucking around with it at the moment. So, I don't know, what were they up for? I don't know, but they're going up pretty well. It's only been on there for half an hour, so... And that one was, ch was sort of half flat, and that one's sort of three quarters. So they're going alright. So that's what I wanted to show you. As with the drawing, other three more coils to go. So it's taking shape. Um, there's a big bearing mount in the middle. It's a light. Um, there it is. It's good that the wheel's acrylic, you can see it. There's a heavy duty bearing there. It's not the most precision bearing I've ever seen. But it's uh, it's not too bad. I've got two of them. The other one's actually a bit better, but just, I accidentally put this one on, so I've got to change it over. But, um, yeah, so there's a, a bit of torque on it. it, goes both ways, it's fine. Um, the magnets are glued in with uh, Araldite, 5 minute epoxy, and just some, um, sil some sticky tape around the outside, because it doesn't stretch. Shut up. So that's that. Get that going again. With the three other coils it'll start going a lot better. You can't refocus this camera. Yeah, so it's pretty consistent. I've noticed with these, this type of magnet arrangement, the um, use a lot less resistance on the base of the transistors. So each transistor here has, going into it, soldered in permanently as a 100 ohm resistor connected to the base, and then the fine tuning one after that is um, at the moment I think it's about a 350 ohm resistor 
Um, it's that one there. I can't remember exactly. But it's approximately half of what I had to use on my other um, with a normal magnet arrangement without the scalar or the sharp north south. Um, not really too sure why, maybe someone can answer that. But that's what I've had to do. There's a gap. I could probably go a bit closer. But at the moment that's okay. Obviously once I get all my other coils I'll be uh, really focusing on the tuning and getting everything aligned properly. This is just placed in there at the moment so I could do the video wires everywhere. So you yeah, don't need the wire pulls. Get a zap. <laughs> Alright, have a good night. Bye.